What's going on guys? My name's Theoatrix and today I'm going to be going through each of the six Barrow sets and I'll be explaining their bonuses and more specifically their set bonuses. Also, if you're interested, I'll be making a video either tomorrow or today about the Amulet of the Damned and basically what effect it has on each of the Barrow's sets. So if you're interested in that, there'll be a card coming up on the screen if I've released the video yet for you to watch. Anyway, let's get into today's video. So I'm sure a lot of people already would know that each Barrow set has its own set effect. So if you wear the whole set, including the weapon, there's basically a bonus that the set will give you. So first up, I'm going to be starting with the four melee sets. The Verax set, which is comprised of the Helm, the Brassard, Plate Skirt and the Flail, is the set which is mainly renowned for its prayer bonus. So a lot of players use the Verax Helm or the Skirt more specifically when they're doing something like the Fight Caves or the Dagonoth Kings where saving prayer points is really, really important. Another thing which is pretty interesting about this set is that the Magic Defense bonus is not negative which most melee armor sets are. Anyway, so the set effect for Verax is that it has a 25% chance or a one in four hits chance that it will ignore the opponent's protection prayers. So protect from melee since you can only use melee with the set, any defense levels that the enemy has and any armor that the enemy is wearing. So this set is really, really useful for bosses with high defense levels, like all of the wilderness bosses, mainly Callisto and Venonatus. And it's also really, really useful on the Cowfight Queen, since it uses protect from melee in one of its phases. The next set I'm gonna talk about is the Darox set. And you might've seen me PKing in Darox a few times, and it's probably the best set for PKing due to its set effect. The axe itself provides a super high strength bonus of 105, and it also has really high defense bonuses, the whole set. So the effect of the Darok set is that you'll hit far higher with lower hit points. So more specifically, for each percentage of hit points that you've lost, you'll deal 1% more damage. So you lose 1% and you'll hit 1% more. So basically, if you're on one hit point with 99 hit points, you'll be able to hit almost double the ordinary max hit. This set is actually pretty useful on bosses as well that are weak to crush since the axe has a pretty high crush attack bonus. And it's also really, really useful for nightmare zone absorption training where you're already on one hit point anyway to maximize your time in the mini game. So it's not any extra effort to get yourself to one hit point. Most players will use the Dwarven Rock Cake from the Dwarven Subquest in the Recipe for Disaster Quest to lower their health to one. The next set I'm going to be talking about is the Torag's set. Now, in my opinion, this set effect needs a big buff and at the moment it's pretty pointless as it is. So the armor provides a slightly higher defense bonus than the Darok set. The set effect is that one in four hits will drain the opponent's run energy by 20%. So that is really pointless because why the hell would you want to lower your run energy of your opponent during a melee fight? Like they're not gonna be running anywhere. This set has never really made any sense to me and that's why you don't really see anyone wearing the whole set in the first place. The last and probably most useful melee set is the Guthans set. And basically, most people already know this, but it has a one in four chance of healing the player equal to the damage that you deal. So this set is so useful for so many things like Slayer, Nightmare Zone training, AFK combat training, bossing for bosses like Bandos, where you heal off the minions and the Dagonoth Kings, where you can heal off those spinning guys, whatever they're called, on the water around the outside. So the defense bonuses of Guthans are very high as well. They're similar to Darox, but they're slightly lower than Torag's. So most people will usually use a normal weapon with the full Guthan set on, and then when they're on lower health, they'll use the spear, since the spear only has a plus 75 attack in all the attack styles and plus 75 strength bonus. So it's not really ideal for training, but the set effect is what makes it so useful. Moving on to the final two sets, Aram's The Magic Set and Carol's The Range Set. A lot of people don't really know what these sets do, and honestly, I only had a vague idea of what they did, so I hope you guys learned something from this part of the video. 
So starting off with the Aram set, the set itself gives one of the highest affordable magic bonuses in the game. So even without the set effect, this set is really useful for mages. But with the Aram staff equipped, it has a 1 in 4 chance of lowering the opponent's strength level by 5. So this is actually one that I now realize would actually be kind of useful in a PK situation like tribriding. It would force the enemy to run out of super combat potions and it would also lower their max hit a lot. Also, perhaps it could be useful on a boss that hits really high, except the defense bonus of the Aram set are really trash, so I wouldn't really recommend trying this out. The final set is the Carol's Ranging set, and in my opinion, sadly, it's another useless set. Basically, when you wear the whole set, there's a 1 in 4 chance that your hit will lower the enemy's agility level by 20%. So apart from this pretty useless set effect, the armor itself is really useful, which makes it so expensive. It actually gives some of the highest magic defense bonuses in the game, and that makes it really useful for bosses like the Smoke Devil boss and other bosses which use magic. And it also gives some really high range attack bonuses. So if you're wearing Carol's, I wouldn't really recommend using the Carol's crossbow with it since the set is pointless, but the actual attack bonus is really useful if you're using the rune crossbow or a magic shortbow or another range weapon. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you guys wanna have a chat to me or just chat to a great bunch of people, be sure to join my clan chat in the game, and that is Theoatrix, so that's my in-game name. And also, I've started streaming on Twitch, and I'd really appreciate if you guys could follow me on that, so you can watch me live almost every day is what I've been doing recently, and that's always great fun. And the last thing, if you guys want to physically actually talk to me, I've created a Discord channel, and the link will be down in the description. I plan on going bossing and on some really big PK trips with you guys, so I'd really appreciate anyone that would like to join. Anyway, thanks for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more daily old school content. Thanks for watching.